and all these minnows and all the other fish in this pond get really skittish. Anyways, I've caught, I don't know, probably 20 minnows, something like that, 15 or 20 minnows in this little makeshift trap I got. I'm going to show you, they come around, but they sure are skittish. So the uh, marshmallows turn into foam in the water, in the bottle. So they're going into the nozzle and eating it. Now I can catch a few if I'm quick by not scaring them. But anyways, here we go. See? I'll try to get you a better shot if I can. no good it broke but I got a, uh, an idea on how to make a better one I just jointed two of these but my joint it broke from my funnel so it seems like for some reason too whenever they see like a different color on the nozzle or the neck they get freaked out they don't want to go past it It'd be better if I take the tape off because that tape they look at it and they go something's up with this See how they're going in and they're hesitating. I hope you can see that. They hesitate. They're eating at the marshmallows, the nozzle, at the point. Because they're not, because the trap broke. Anyway, I'm going to pull it up. Back, see if I can fix it somehow. Because these, uh, these animals are getting wise to it all. They don't have to go in all the way they want, and you won't catch any. So you're going as far as they have to, and that's it. See this? See how they're attacking that marshmallow? There's the front, the nozzle. That one's grabbing it. It's not a tight one. They know it's a trap. There's one that just came out. They'll go in, but there's nothing to keep it from going back out. They know how to get back out. There's two in there right now. Anyways, if I'm quick, I can catch a couple. Maybe. We're smart. Alright, I'm going to quit this. Put this down, see if I can't snag a few of these. Get them back to the casa. Because uh, it doesn't seem like they're doing any good around here. I don't know what the deal is. These, these fish in this mud puddle are too smart. I was thinking about going in, huddling, going over to the back lake, but hell, by the time I get over there, this old man is going to be so tired out. I doubt it. Anyway, probably just end up calling it an evening, going home and eating some hamburgers and thinking about what I did wrong. <laughs> Ah, these, this uh, pool's getting smaller and smaller. The mud or uh, the water's very, very murky, so it's hard for the fish to see. It's very mur murky and stirred up. And they know their time's limited, so they're very, very, very <clears throat> on edge. And also, as you can see, there's millions of uh, bait fish in here, so they're not hungry. They've got a captive audience. They can eat them anytime they want. And the coons and everybody comes down here and they eat them too. Birds, egrets, pelicans, whatever. Anyway, 
Alright, this is Trapper Ed. I'm gonna sign off. I'm getting tired. Been up since early this morning getting all jazzed and ready for this. But, uh, you know, it's just too much of a good thing. Anyway, <clears throat> Trapper Red signing off, and I'll tell you how we did with this last minnow trapping expedition. I don't think we're gonna do too good because the trap was broken, the funnel fell off. Anyway, Trapper Red.